Lancashire's hopes of avoiding the drop back into the second division of the LV County Championship were helped by an 81 from Luke Proctor and runs from the tail as the visitors to the Brighton and Hovejobs.com county ground recovered from 148 for 7 on the first day against Sussex. Put in after losing the toss, Lancashire, who began this game a dozen points away from safety, having played a game more than their nearest rivals Durham and Middlesex, made a steady enough start as Paul Horton and Usman Kawaja opened up with a stand of 32 in the first eight overs. But they then lost three wickets for two runs in six overs. On 16, Horton was LBW to Steve McGoffin. Lewis Hatchett then found the edge of Ashwell Prince's bat to have him held in the slips for a duck by the returning Michael Yardy. A stunning catch by Ed Joyce then gave Chris Jordan a wicket. Carl Brown on his way for a single with his side in trouble. Lancashire desperately needed a partnership and they managed one for the fourth wicket as Stephen Croft joined forces with Kawaja. With Middlesex and Durham playing each other at Lords in this round of matches, a win here for the visitors would be very handy indeed. And with Sussex having little to play for, they may have hoped that this was a game Lancashire could win. An early 10.30 start hadn't helped them, but as the morning wore on, batting did become a little easier. These two added 62 runs together in 13 overs. But shortly before the break, Kawaja edged a drive off Ashar Zaidi behind and had to head back with 45 runs to his name. Worse followed for Lancashire in the afternoon. Joss Butler dragged a short ball from McGoffin out to Ashar to fall for nine. Before Croft, one short of his 50, edged Hatchet through to Ben Brown. He, like Butler before him, was furious with himself for getting out. Lancashire had given their wickets away too cheaply in the defeat to Yorkshire last week, and they were doing so again here. Tom Smith caught off a top-edge sweep. That left the visitors on 148 for seven, and making even 200 for a single batting bonus point appeared to be beyond them. But Proctor, in just his sixth match of the Championship summer, and his captain Glenn Chappell, suffering with back problems which led to some on-pitch treatment, started a recovery by playing some shots, which brought them 44 runs in 11 overs. Chappell's positive approach also brought about his downfall, though, on 28 to pull off McGoffin, landing in the hands of Luke Wells. But it then took Sussex 26 more overs to get the ninth wicket. Proctor, with his very own style of batting, played a crucial hand. Crouching and then jumping in his crease, he picked off his boundary shots to make a half century off 122 deliveries. These, a couple of his four fours included within. He was aided by Simon Carrigan, who stuck it out with his partner for 99 minutes, proving that Lancashire are not going to go down without a fight, if at all. Not every one of Kerrigan's boundaries came off the middle of his bat, but he was still able to contribute 25 of a stand of 68. He was another to be caught on the boundary, though, as McGoffin grabbed his fourth wicket to take his tally in this competition this year to 57. Kerrigan was gone with a total on 260 for nine, but another 60 runs were added by the last pair with Proctor going on well. Jimmy Anderson has had a year with a bat that he will never forget, and he again played with aggression. The Burnley Lara smacked six boundaries from the 22 balls he faced to frustrate Sussex further. At one point, they may have dreamt about having an early lead during this day, but in the end, they only batted for two overs at the very end. That was because Anderson was out in the 92nd over of Lancashire's innings, a reverse sweep bringing about his downfall after he'd made 28. It left Proctor unbeaten on a season's best 81 after surviving for three and a half hours. Wells and Chris Nash then batted out a maiden eat at the end of what was an absorbing day's cricket and one which keeps Lancashire right in this contest. A big day with the ball now beckons for them.